Hey, what's going on guys? Mike, Philcraft Survival here in Camas, Utah at a rusted development with the Land Cruiser 100. This is an 06, my 06, which I have told you and I'm sticking by is the best overland vehicle ever made. At least it is for me. Look, you can get into a, an overland rig for whatever price point you want to nowadays, but for me, for the money, for what I want to do, which is travel on road, commute, use it as a daily driver, but get off road and have the capability. This is it. Uh, I used the same rig in Yemen for a year, uh, operating all over the country and had no issues with it. Now the JDM spec versus the OEM specs is a little bit different, but this rig in the 06 form factor of 06 and 07 being the little horsepower bump that we talked about before sets you up for success. Now, one of the biggest considerations on the inside is how you build it out because you have to have stuff compartmentalized. I want things secure. And I think this way when I'm building out rigs. Look, I don't build out the rigs. Other guys who are experts at this build this out for me. That's why I sourced Arrested Development and also I have sourced Goose Gear, who is one of my favorite drawer systems in the US, in the world. Uh, there's a lot of drawer systems, that uh, a lot of people who make different setups, but for my needs, this is the perfect setup. So first and foremost, let's go to the install footage of how this thing is put together and we'll kick it off. Here we go. What's up everybody? Steve here from Goose Gear Inc. Out here in Huntington Beach. Uh, I'm the product specialist for Goose Gear. I do all of the uh, design, uh, customization, and CAD work for Goose Gear. Today we're going to be doing a rear plate system for the third row seat delete, a camp kitchen, and a drawer module for this Land Cruiser 100 we have here in front of us. Today we're going to be installing four components into the LC100. We're going to start off with our rear plate system. We're then next going to install the camp kitchen, followed by the right side module drawer and the utility cabinet. Okay, the first step was to remove all the factory brackets for the rear seats and all the plastic trim pieces. Um, we removed the rear trim for the rear door. Uh, we're gonna reinstall that later. Your next step is basically pull the carpet out. All right, so now we have our rear plate system installed. Uh, for any SUV, this is gonna be our starting base system. It's the rear plate. Uh, if you do the seat deletes, if you do drawers, modules, it always starts with the rear plate. Um, this adds a nice flat foundation. You have a lot of anchor points, depending if you're gonna get drawers, uh, camp kitchen, or an ice box. Or if you just want the system by itself, you can add additional anchors that we sell, or you can have a nice flat surface to strap anything down that you're holding in the back. All right, the fourth and final component we'll be installing today is this rear utility box. Um, it's gonna go behind the camp kitchen and basically what it allows you to do is have a lockable storage compartment um, that'll sit in between the camp kitchen and the rear seat. All right guys, the big reveal. I'm gonna show you guys my setup. You guys just saw the install video and I'm gonna show you my setup with everything integrated. Um, Goose Gear makes clean equipment that's utilitarian base, but also cut to spec for the back of this rig. What I like about it is you don't have to chop the panels on the side. It's actually custom fit. It has a deck system on the bottom to mount all the hardware into, and it's all lockable, all clean, and all lightweight. Look, I've had some heavy systems carrying guns and all kinds of stuff for training, but this system is pretty lightweight in comparison, but super durable. So first of all, I'll pop this latch and show you the drawer system that I have here. Um, goes all the way back the length, which is one of the reasons I like the LC100 of the rear end of it. This sat an additional two seats that I pulled out and now all that real estate, I'm able to put all this stuff in it. Um, everything from survival to first aid, you know, the basic stuff that we carry, propane for uh, the camp kitchen setup 
as well as contingency-based things. 300 blackouts up front in the um, center, near the center console, but comms, I mean, you name it, we have it in here, and there's plenty of real estate to do that. Also, I, I like the fact that I can lock this up. People are always like, Mike, why would you carry a truck gun in your rig? I'm like, why would you leave your laptop in your car? I mean, it's just like, it, the stuff that I put in here is going to be expensive, and that's what I choose to do, because I'm locking it, and for somebody to be able to break into this uh, after breaking into my car, uh, go ahead. That's what insurance is for. Um, what I like about this is the convenience of rolling out the stuff that I like the most, which is food and the fridge for beer. Um, I like IPA, so this would be stock or IPA, some elk steaks, some good chow, and then I can cook it on this Coleman. Uh, there are make more expensive options. I like the Walmart. $10 option of Coleman and propane, but conveniently how this stuff is stowed. Um, what I hate is all these builds that put this stuff together and then you're driving around. It sounds like you're in the back of a Krylon rattle cam. I mean, it's just everything's rattling and getting beat up. This so far uh, on the way over here, driving it, zero issues. I also like the fact that I could put all of my stuff on top of this deck and it's ruggedized with these little access ports. Now what's cool about these is they, they make use of the space. This drawer leaves me dead space in the corners and now this allows me to access that dead space to hide all my goodies. I'm not going to tell you what I got in there. Uh, gummy bears and monsters. Um, looking for a monster sponsorship by the way. Um, but I could put all the stuff that I need on top of this and if you adapt the system that takes out the seats. You could do a three seat system or a two seat system where the entire back end of it is sleepable. Then you could put your mat, all the stuff that you need to, to live in this on top. Again, I told you before in an, another video, I'm not a fan of sleeping in rooftop tents. I've done it as long as rooftop tents were imported by Easy On in North America. Like I've, I've been doing that for, for years. They're not very comfortable uh, depending on the mat that you got and they're not very good at keeping out the wind and the cold weather. I'll run this in the winter time, turn on the heater and live really comfortably. Or I'll just sleep on the floor and then have a air mattress or something that's comfortable because my back can't take it. I'm just spoiled like that, but I'm gonna set it up again for my conveniences. This system is one of the best systems that I've seen. There are multiple variants of this system on goosegear.com, but make sure you check them out and stay tuned because we're gonna continue to build this thing out. What I'm here at Rust Development doing is looking at suspension because the ride head system no longer works, which is normal in these vehicles as per their maintenance is 06, so it's, it's pretty old, as well as looking at putting on rock sliders, which I couldn't do um, it, to begin with because of the ride height suspension. Old Emu, uh, slight two to three inch suspension with some local guys, rock sliders out of Heber City. So, till next time.